Essentially, you must know the direction of the flow. So you see the pump there is this in, out. So in from the water, up to the top plate. So turn here. And there's a manual switch. There's an off manual and auto. We switch to auto when it's controlled by system. So the pH meter will tell the system when the acid, uh, acid and base are needed to, calib to uh, calibrate not really calibrate to maintain a certain pH. Then just switch it on, then slowly guide the tube. Then release the other one, uh, try to put it inside the clamp, but let it flow for a while. Okay, then clamp it and just observe if it's, there's too much slack, then you just pull. Just make sure there's optimum, not much too much slack or too tight. Because if it's too tight, it will just break. The data on because normally a fermentation run is at least three days, but for us it's only uh, one day plus, so you won't see the effect. But if it was a very long culture, if it's too tight, after a few days it will just snap, suddenly snap, then I see will all just flow. And you can see from the other side that it did happen once, so there's a lot of corro there's some corrosion at the acid base, the acid pump. So just to just to detach, it's just release two of the side. It's okay. So this big one is for using uh, either to... It will be used for us to add your culture inside. Well, uh, last time we used a strange method. Strange and needle method. But that one, that one was quite difficult. Because the needle size is just so big. So it takes a quite a bit of strength to get it in. So now we are using a, something like the acid base bottle. You put your as your culture inside and then just pump it inside. I have a question. Yes. Do we have to clear this as well? Yes. This uh, one. not really unless there's a lot of culture inside. Because normally there will be some remnants. You just clear as much as you can. So uh, on the day of your culture this this one will not be empty, this bigger. There will be some seventy percent ethanol to help sterilize keep the other the outlet end uh, cleaner. So you, since there are so many of you, uh, normally I think we'll only, you only take five to seven readings depending on what time you start. So it's best to roster yourself two, two person uh, per hour to come. Because two, uh, if one forgets, uh, the other one should still remember. So if your group cannot make it for uh, some reason because of your practical or lectures or anything, please inform me so that I can take your readings afterwards. Take those readings that you are not going to come. Or of course, try to come. Because if you do not do anything of it, uh, Mr. Ong may just subtract marks from, from you guys.